Hi everyone. First of all, I want to apologize because it took way too long uh, for me to upload a new video, but that's because I had so much stuff to do. I'm busy with a documentary um, and that's a lot of work. Constantly we, ha we have trips going to the building that we're filming and stuff, but part one of the documentary is going to be finished very soon, so I'm very excited about that. And also I apologize for all the stuff that's on the ground right here. This is a mess. I still have to clean this all up because tomorrow actually someone is going to visit me and he also wants to see my Collection. So I have to clean all this stuff up before tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so that's gonna be a lot of work, but yeah. But finally a reenactment again. The last reenactment was in February 2020 in the winter. That was the 82nd Airborne March in the Ardenche, which was a very awesome event. But it, oh man, it's been way too long. So finally this was our first event again after a long time. And um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. So this video is going to be about the event in Burlo, Belgium. Um, I went there as a German MG gunner. So right now I'm just gonna stop talking and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we are now on the way to Borlo. Are you excited, Mark? Not really. <laughs> that means that he is. Uh, this is our first event since the 8th of Feb February, I believe it was. Last year. Yeah. Last year, 2020. That was the 82nd Airborne Walk. That was the last reenactment that we actually had. So this is the first reenactment again uh, since that one. So we are obviously very excited. We are now on the way to Borlo and it's still a 38 minute drive. So Borlo is a uh, place in Belgium. So that's where we're going right now. We got all the stuff in the back, your medic gear. Uh, like, you know, um, when, a, when a, like a woman cannot choose between their shoes or something, we have the <laughs> same thing with our helmets and stuff and also our shoes because we have Everything. We have everything. <laughs> we have two pairs of helmets because we cannot choose what helmet we are going to wear. And we have uh, two pairs of boots, right? You have two pairs no, as well. Just one. Oh, you got one? Yeah. I got two pairs. I got my Marschstiefel and I have my Schnurrschuhe. So the low boots and the normal uh, boots, the uh, taller boots, the uh, very well known boots. And uh, we are in a tunnel right now. But yeah, so there's going to be a battle as well. We're going to see how it goes and uh, we're gonna have some fun. We also have two more passengers in the back seat, which is my dog, right there. Godzilla. And my mother, which is also a historically correct figure <laughs> because she is going to uh, be a civilian. So she can walk to the US camp and to the German camp. Yes, my mother is also interested in history, so. So the German camp is gonna be somewhere else than the US camp. Did you know that? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah, we cannot, uh, as Germans, we cannot, of course, walk around the U.S. soldiers because that's not really historically correct. So where we are going is actually, we have our camp at the um, battle zone. The battle is going to be at, at the same location where our camp is uh, located, so. Really, really excited. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road. Yeah. All right, so this is gonna be our position right here. Got my MG42 behind me. Um, Mark is parking the car somewhere over there uh, because at 10 o'clock, uh, the visitors are coming to the camp. 
and um, by then all the modern stuff has to be gone, obviously. And the sun is shining right now. Nice, I'm wearing wool. Ah, oh, thank you God. Sun is gone again. Um, <laughs> because wool is very hot, of course. But yeah, this is gonna be our uh, little spot. We've chosen to sit right next to this small creek. It's a pretty big camp, as you can see. I saw some very, very cool German vehicles standing over there as well. So, yep. Some very, very good material right here. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to film because of course I have to hide my modern stuff, which is this camera as well, so yeah. And my mother is over there with the dog. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Her harness is not really historically correct. I actually wanted to make a jacket with a red cross on it, but I didn't have enough time, so yeah. It's just a very fancy, uh, harness for the time, so let's just uh, ignore that a little bit. Well, Mark, here you are, finally, yeah. <laughs> with your awesome helmet. Um, can you explain a little bit about your equipment? Yeah, so these are the, uh, the sanitator pouches. Yes. Which contain uh, medical stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, just the usual bread bag. Yes. And uh, a shovel, shovel cover. cover yeah. Still with some whitewash on it from the exactly. winter. Uh, here in the on the ground we have yeah. a medical canteen. Yeah, and why is that a medical medical canteen? Can you explain that? Uh, yeah, sure. Because um, when you are um, a German medic, yeah. for instance, or American medics, they always carry extra water yes. for the wounded. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> so it's larger also as, as a normal, usual uh, yeah. German... Uh, so this one is called uh, Labeflasche. Yeah. It's also used by Gebirgsjäger. Mm -hmm. So basically everyone who needs more water than usual, so this yeah. is uh, one liter. Yeah, because you can definitely definitely see the difference between this one. This one is a, is a normal standard one, that is definitely smaller. This, this, is, this, this is bigger, that's bigger. original as well. It's you see original. some mud holes in it. Yeah, it's 1941. <laughs> ah, very nice, early one. Um, so, yeah. And you have your uh, M42 Stahlhelm, of yeah, course. exactly. With your decal still underneath the paint, yeah, right there. Yeah, oh, man, this is, so this is an original helmet, but I completely restored and uh, that looks fantastic. Yeah. Very, very cool. And you're wearing, of course, the uh, HBT. Really? Yeah, yeah. You got it's the not breast very, eagle. Yeah, it's, it's not really, really common, but it's, I mean... Oh yeah, it was common enough. Yeah. In black and white, it's, it's, it's difficult to it's see the difference pretty most hot. of the times. It is pretty Especially hot. Especially if you park the car like five kilometers. Yeah, he, he just parked the car somewhere very far away. He, yeah. he had to walk all the way back. Yeah. Well, luckily you're not wearing wool. <laughs> Nice uh, Maybe I'm missing some armband. Nails. Oh yeah. I was walking down the street like oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> just by myself. Uh, yeah. It's an enjoyable sound, isn't it? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah. it's still a little bit strange for me to do that. That is interesting. But, uh, yeah. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, that's uh, just a medical... Medical uh, insignia. Yeah, yeah. That's a German medical insignia. Yeah, so very wise Nancio, which I do. Yeah. Um, has like a uh, silver 
how do you call it? Trust around it. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm not. So yeah, yeah. I lost my trust somewhere. <laughs> no problem. A very very nice impression. Yeah, thank you. Looks very good. <laughs> we are now walking to the American camp. Even though we are Germans, but we got one American with us, so has to be okay. Oh, car. Leuk, ze komt zo meteen. Ja. Wat de battle bedoel je? Nee. Koffie. Gewoon lopen met deze schoen. Ah. Op de Oké, okay, we're now getting on the public street, so you're gonna hear our boots. The famous sound. What do you think about this? Is that a historically correct sound? Or isn't it? I think it is. You are not really making mo noise at all, are you? I am as silent as can be. <laughs> this is my hiding spot for my camera. Historically not correct, but yeah. I mean, I have to hide this thing somewhere. <laughs> okay. It's only the Wehrmacht. Hi. I'm being followed by a medic. Look, our new house. We still have to fix the roof a little bit, but it's okay. So this is a place where you can eat and stuff. You can go to the toilet, which is over there. Uh, but I really like the way all the stuff is displayed right here. See, old German helmet and uh, bicycle. See these engines? Very cool. <laughs> Ik heb echt trek in koffie. Gaan we dat maken of gaan we met z'n drie even een bakje drinken? We kunnen ook even een bakje doen. Ja, een bakje drinken. Ja. Ja? Lekker. En het was ook Even wat, uh, wat eten, Nick. Ja, ja, ja. Well, we're ordering some coffee. You like it, Mark? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so we are sitting here in this barn. You can uh, order some food and some drinks here. They have uh, an, an old M16 helmet right there. Uh, like battle damage with the bullet hole. Awesome. Yeah. Coffee, milk. I know. <laughs> Normally we make the coffee in the field, but this was, uh, we couldn't resist this nice smell of the coffee. So we are just taking some historically not correct coffee. Sugar. And they can you appelgebak film? Yeah, uiteraard. Reclame voor appelgebak. Eating some um, apple pie, man. Apple pie. Yeah. Well, the military police is watching because, of course, we are German, so. Yeah, but I like you. Know, you are a good German. So <laughs> I'm wearing some historically correct glasses right now. These are original glasses, actually from the Dutch army. I just captured them in May 1940. This is historically correct. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's make a picture here. Uh, yeah.
Yes, this is a very historically correct background. See this? Completely historically correct. Except, of course, the cars, but the church and the old buildings with a little bit of fantasy. This is all historically correct. And this is another... Oops! And I'm just standing in the stuff, which is also historically correct. Um, let's walk around a little bit. This is a small American camp. Um, got some vehicles right here, some tents. Huh. Some nice fruit right here. Historically correct. Hello. Propaganda footage. Good day. How are you? I'm pretty good. Yeah. Ich bin von der Propaganda Company. Oh yeah. Jawohl. <laughs> sure. Uh, I think your film is not going going anywhere. <laughs> because you are going with me to our camp, man. <laughs> it's over. Oh no. It's finished. Be glad you can go home. Der Krieg ist aus. You can go to your mother, your sons, your daughter, your wife. Jesus Christ, you will be happy. <laughs> He's a nice guy, by the way. Is he? Yeah. If it wasn't war, maybe we were friends. Maybe we were. Yeah, he does also hunting. I do also hunting in Idaho. Oh, really? And he's, he told me he's doing hunting. You doing hunting? Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> he's yes. not. He, he lied to you. He lied oh, to you. Oh, Jesus. What a You can never it's trust a German. But I still like him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like him. You know, he's a sanitator. And a lot of those sanitators, they save my friend's lives. Oh, yeah. One of my GI friends who was terribly wounded, was treated by them. It was very like the Geneva Convention. This was really great. Really yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna say now, man? Just another day at the office. <laughs> <laughs> that was our day at the office. So I just decided to go to the toilet in my German uniform. Um, which was a little uh, bit, what you call it, embarrassing. Uh, something strange happened. Uh, so I went to the toilet, I locked the door, and made a click sound. So, and then suddenly a woman walked in my toilet and said, Oh, sorry! I'm like, oh, uh, the lock is not working, apparently. The lock is not working on the toilet. I did not know that. I was standing there in German. Yeah, uniform. Listen. Historically correct. Walking in the streets of Borlo, Belgium, 2021. And that, like a couple thousand more feet, would make pretty loud sounds. Alright, so right behind me, uh, they're having a briefing for the battle. I also took the uh, siren with me, so um, I've heard that there are planes that are going to fly over, so I'm probably gonna use the siren at that moment, which is pretty cool. Let me show you a little bit what I got right here. First of all, I've got my Feldhund right here. Hello. And um, I got my, oh, this is Mark's stuff. Where's my gas mask? Well, my gas mask is over there. It should normally be in there. World War II gas masks. Those have uh, asbestos in them, so be careful, don't wear them. My field bottle, my shovel, my cap, M43 cap. Uh, this is Mark's stuff. My Walter, right here. Let me take it out. Here it is, my Walter P38. Original from 1943. Matching numbers. Got my MG ammo boxes, my A-frame. Oh, my stick grenade. Um, this is a Laufschützer in Normandy camouflage, spare barrel uh, for the MG42. 
Um, I've got my M31 bread bag. Got my personal stuff in there, like the fit dose, butter, and uh, yeah, more personal stuff. And uh, this is actually a fun fact about this bread bag. This bread bag was used in the miniseries Band of Brothers. I bought this from someone who has a lot of props. Um, I actually got um, a couple more things from Band of Brothers. So this is pretty cool. This was actually used in Band of Brothers. So uh, you've probably seen this one <laughs> running around on the back of one of uh, the German soldiers. So that's pretty cool. Used in Band of Brothers. My Koch is 31. I was just cleaning my... Uh, MG42 here. Got stuff in here. Also, uh, got some uh, bolly stole. <laughs> Works very nice, but I was just cleaning this beauty here. For the people who don't know, this is an original MG42. Uh, this one is produced in 1943. So it's coffee time and sausage time. You're gonna make coffee? Finally. Finally, yeah, and I'm gonna make some sausages. We're gonna make our coffee and sausages on an MG box, the bottom of an MG box. Kochgeschirr 31. I got my original German can opener, which we're gonna use. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Heel belangrijk, yeah. Volgens mij geen kaas van gegeten. Sausages. Thank you, man. Bitte. The Deutsche Giffel. Haha. Oh, sausages. Okay. Mm. Oh, And that's about all I got from the battle. Of course, it wasn't possible for me to film during the battle because everything had to be historically correct. My dog was extremely scared for the loud gunshots and explosions, so it wasn't possible to film from the side. I have to say it was a pretty awesome battle. It started with artillery, from the Allied side and from our side. After that, the Allied infantry came over the horizon. There were some pretty big explosions and dirt was flying everywhere. You can see me right here in the ditch, ready for action with my MG42. I was helping a wounded soldier together with Mark, and then the Americans flanked us. I had no choice but to surrender. One American grabbed me very hard and actually lost a lot of tunic buttons, which was historically correct. I apologize that I don't have any more footage. Here we go with the MG42. After the battle, I'm gonna have a drink in the village. Full gear. <laughs> Historically correct. Going up a hill. You okay, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Watch out, American truck. Pretend like we are not here. And another German motorcycle. And another one. Here we are, vlogging in 1944. So yeah, we had uh, a pretty cool battle with explosions and stuff. Um, too bad I couldn't film, of course. My dog was pretty scared for the uh, shooting, so I couldn't film, but no problem. I mean, uh, it was still an awesome experience. And uh, now we're just enjoying, well actually, this on your shoulder is not like really comfortable or anything but yeah we're now going to the town center and i have a drink this is the butt view of the mg42 while marching auf der heide blüht ein kleines blümelein und das heißt erika <laughs> Hallo! Oh, du schöner, der Wald. 
über deinen Höhen bleibt der Wind so kalt, der doch der kleinste Sonnenschein bringt tief ins Herz hinein. Oh. Hi. Hi. <lacht> What is your problem? There is a village over there, which is called Jök, which in English literally means itch. <laughs> of course, the German camp has to be far away for some reason. And the Americans have all the good stuff, the toilets, the food, everything. What are your thoughts on this particular vehicle, Mark? What do you think about it? Do you like it? Why are you drinking cola? Coca-Cola! Do you even know what that... Oh, look at this! How can you drink something like that? <laughs> I revived him. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> well, good I mean, job on that. He walks again, so I think... <laughs> Yeah, but it's a really special car. It's a very, very nice one. I like the um, Karen Scheinwerfer. I found parts of that one before in the video. Very, very cool. So this, yeah, it's completely original. Yeah. Restored, of course, but very, very nice. Why are they shooting in the streets with the heck? Uh, well, I, I was just about to say, we were sitting on a table right now, we just already had a cola, but we're getting another cola. Because it's very nice and refreshing. My MG42 is resting near this helicopter, which is here. I don't know what kind of helicopter this is, looks pretty interesting. So, during the battle, an American soldier grabbed me very uh, hard right here. And he ripped all my buttons off. So there are no buttons here anymore. They're all gone. How are your feet, Mark? Are they hurting? No, they're... Are they okay? Yeah. Cheers. No, this is not sponsored by Coca-Cola. Here we go, once again. Uh, Mark is getting the car right now. We still have some stuff in the camp that we need to uh, pick up. So we're gonna go back to the camp with the car and then uh, get all the stuff, which is still in the tents. And like I said earlier, um, I obviously could not film during the battle because it was not allowed to have uh, photo cameras or video cameras in the battle zone. But it was a very, very cool experience. There were explosions and uh, stuff. And the uh, humidity today is extremely high. So it is, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, exhausting. Well, Mark, there we go again. Oh. Oh, my seatbelt. There you go. It was a short but awesome experience, right? Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. Too bad, like I said before, I couldn't film the uh, battle, but it was a pretty awesome battle. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that most footage will be on YouTube anyway. Yeah, anyway, yeah, probably. It was pretty exhausting as well because of uh, the humidity. It was pretty hot today. Yeah. And, um,. I've met a lot of fans, which was very yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> There's so many people who, uh, who recognize us. That was very, very cool. But yeah, it was an awesome event. Now it's time to uh, go home and uh, go eat something. I have a lot of beers. <laughs> Cold <laughs> drinks. <laughs> Hey, look at that, everything is clean right now. Yes, yes, I have to edit, I have to clean, I have to film, I have to do so many things. And that's why sometimes it takes uh, a while before I can upload again, because I have so many projects at this moment that sometimes it's a little bit hard to think what to do next. But yeah, here we are. I finished cleaning my room, I finished editing this video, and here is a new video that you just watched, and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, like I said before, I couldn't film during the battle because this is a modern camera and everything has to look authentic. But there was something that really irritated me, uh, and that was someone that was dressed as a nurse who was making pictures right in front of me. All the audience were standing behind me watching us, and she was there with her phone making pictures in front of us. So that's something you, I mean, there are very strict rules that are saying that you are not allowed 
to film or make pictures during the battle. And she was just standing in the middle of the battlefield with a phone, you know, that's so... Come on, if she can do it, why can't I film? You know, it's not fair. That's something we have to ignore because we have to be historically correct. Um, but yeah, but it was a very cool battle. There were big explosions. Um, yeah, it was just very awesome. So the next day there was going to be another battle, um, but I only stayed for one day because, you know, I have, I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to edit the other video. The documentary that I was talking about earlier, uh, it's almost finished. Part one is almost finished and it's a lot of work. So I'm very excited about that. So stay tuned for that as well. And as you can see, my MG42 is clean again and back on display. Also, I want to thank all the fans that came to the event to meet me. It was very cool to see you guys and uh, thank you for being there. Oh, and Popey, Taleme a Popse. That was a personal message. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.